Now, this story is called True Love, and it's about Carol and Matthew. They'd been married 32 years, and he had recently died or translated, as we sometimes say. Their spiritual relationship was based upon freedom. And what I found interesting, they first discussed their spiritual relationship and their values in detail after their marriage. And the reason I mention it is he was a Southern Baptist and she was an Echist. Now, uh, you would think two people more opposite, finding each other, loving each other, you'd think you couldn't really go further apart. And of course, there are ways you could go further apart, I'm sure. And so we asked her about Ekankar, and he just asked, are you happy with it? And she said, yes. And so he never made judgments about it. And he would help her in uh, several different ways. He would open uh, X centers uh, for her, you know, get them up and running. And he would move chairs and furnitures around and do everything he could possibly do. Uh, because in the meantime, he was suffering from grave illnesses, and his, he still went to his church, did all he could for them, and he did all he could for Ekankar. He even went to um, her mother's, Carol's uh, memorial in the X Center. He listened to the Hughes song, but he didn't join in. And so, he had gone through all these trials, and through them, he finally found a new understanding of the Holy Spirit, a unique understanding from anything he had understood before. And so they were able to open up and talk about the similarity of their beliefs and their amazing relationship with the Holy Spirit, because Matthew now understood. They continued to honor each other's right to approach God and believe in the way that was right for each of them. And Carol was amazed to learn that when he had gone to church and his friends asked, you know, why don't you bring Carol along with you? He explained to them what Ekankar was, what the Ek teachings were, what Hugh was, a love song to God. And he invited them to go check out Ekankar at the address ekankar.org. And so they could learn for themselves. And about three days before his passing, he asked that she, they turn off the religious music they'd been playing. And he asked that they put on the Hugh song. And so they sang it. and played it 24 hours a day. And he told her that this love song to God was awesome. I'm <laughs> having quite a time here, <laughs> keeping it all together. <laughs> and then Matthew had also told the preacher what he wanted 
done at his memorial service. He wanted to honor his church and its beliefs with the usual invitational service, but he also wanted either Carol or Christie, and Christie was the regional act leader. He wanted either of them to explain the spiritual freedom that he and Carol offered to one another. So when the time came, Christy, the act leader, talked briefly about the hue, a love song to God. And then there were about 50 non acus pre present and about 10 acusts. So she led them in a love song to God with hue. And so she did with them three short hues. And the echoes, of course, joined in with the singing. So many people, including the pastor's wife, came up later and told Carol and Chris, Christy how beautiful the love song to God was. A short while before Matthew had passed on, Carol introduced him in contemplation to the inner master. She saw the master give him an initiation, but then turn him towards the gate where Jesus waited for him. All for love. <laughs> 